Hello, my name is Carla Thomas with Health Quality Innovators, and I'm here today at Riverview on the Appomattox with Jerry Howard and Rochelle Oliver, the Administrator and Director of Nursing. And I'm going to talk to them about Stop and Watch, an idea that's really worked for them. Can you tell me a little bit about how your facility uses Interact and the Stop and Watch tool? Absolutely. So uh, we've used the Interact tool here, or the Interact process, for about three years. Um, but about a year and a half ago, or late 2015, our return to hospital rate was still at an unacceptable level. Um, but again, we were only using parts of the Interact process. So we implemented the stop and watch piece in addition to using the SBAR for our nurses and that sort of thing. Um, and the stop and watch specifically, what we like about it, is it involves everyone at the center, including family members and um, housekeepers, administrator. The use of that tool really gives our clinicians um, it can double or triple or even quadruple the amount of eyes that are on the patients. So Rochelle, is that a difference that you your team made, adding more team members? I would say so. When we first implemented the Stop and Watch program, um, the first initiative was to get the nursing staff on board, um, but we saw the benefit in getting more people engaged in the process, and that was when we decided to um, trickle it down to the rest of the staff and to bring the family members on board as well. Okay. So how does that work on a day-to-day -day basis? Okay, so daily. Um, the stop and watches are um, located throughout the facility. They're in different locations. Um, if you notice when you first came in, it starts at the lobby, um, just because the goal is for us to focus on preventing unplanned discharges from the door. Um, if somebody, doesn't matter whether it's a CNA, whether it's the administrator or family member, notices a change in a patient, they'll fill the stop and watch out and they give it to the nurse. And from there, they would do an assessment and follow up with the physician and appropriate interventions. So when someone fills out a, tool, a, a form, what happens next? That's when the assessment is completed by the nurses. Okay. Um, she would contact the physician um, based off of her assessment and findings. Uh, they complete the SBAR, um, and the SBAR is another tool or product of the Interact process that helps the nurses to have uh, communication with the physician. Um, and from that point, they will receive additional orders or instructions on how to proceed with that change in condition. Great. Absolutely. You know, one of the, the benefits that we've seen with the family members, too, is that they, uh, by, t by educating them on the use of the stop and watch tool, they, feel, they already feel more empowered, so their, their, their observation of other patients is helped as well. But sometimes, because they're in such a state of being empowered or, or being part of our team, basically is how we look at it, they may not fill out the form. They might just go directly to the nurse and say, hey, I've noticed something with this particular patient. But had we not initiated that education for them with the stop and watch, they might not have even made that recommendation. So it's, um, it's, it's kind of grown outside of just the use of the tool. Oh, that's wonderful. Have had the re your entire team, had they noticed a difference in, in the care or the outcomes with patients? I would say absolutely. Uh, we share the data uh, from our unplanned discharges, not only as a clinical and as an administrative team, but we um, involve the direct care staff. They're the ones that are noticing the changes sure. and are directly responsible for it. So that's a discussion that is ha held with the direct care staff as well. Great. What have you learned as a result of increasing your focus on, on the use of the stop and watch tool in particular? One of the things that we've learned as a center is that oftentimes the, the input of the entire interdisciplinary team in, into that, um, that individual's change of condition generates more ideas than we would have had just by one nurse or just by one administrative person. person. Um, and the advantage is that everyone's aware of everyone's changes in conditions. So we talk about it every morning in the morning meeting, but again, it gives the entire center that sense of empowerment, whether you're a housekeeper um, or a dietary aide or whomever, all of us are a team and we all feel connected to the, the patient's care, not just the nursing staff. So um, we, it definitely improves the life of the patient, but it also improves the, um, I guess, the awareness of the entire, of the entire center. What type of results have you noticed um, with your transfers um, over the past few months? Well, it was, it, you know, as far as the metrics goes, it mm -hmm. was definitely what prompted our discussion previous, mm -hmm. and that was that our return to hospital rate 
went from well into the 30 percent above uh, and above um, to on the data that you provided it was through um, the third quarter of last year to drop down in, into the teens mm -hmm. but once q4 data comes out you're going to see that it's closer to 11 10 percent mm -hmm. um, and that's that's really the benefit is that now we have not only met the benchmark that the hospitals prefer but also superseded it so so the hospital has a better perception of what's going on here just by that one metric and then the obvious savings financially um, with all those things that you just mentioned but but again at the end of the day it's just a better quality of life for the patient what about the families and residents what a What's their reaction been to the use of this tool? Uh, a great response from the family members as well. Mm -hmm. They like um, the autonomy of having the tool available um, so that they can turn it into the nurses. If they notice something with their loved one, it's not just I'm telling the nurse or I'm telling the CNA. They actually have a tool that they have a copy of or receive a copy of um, that speaks to that as well. So it makes them feel more confident um, in the abilities of the center. So it's a simple tool that can engage everyone, but it makes a big difference, not only in keeping the patients here, uh, but supported by people that they know and love, um, and, and you, they can avoid having to go to the hospital unnecessarily, right? Absolutely. Some of the simplest tools do often Absolutely. become the best ones. Thank you so much, Jerry, and thank you, Rochelle. And there you have it, stop and watch, an idea that works.